Hi, this is Frank Lawler from EuroLeague TV. We are at Media Lanham Forum in Milan, Italy on the day of the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague Championship game between Real Madrid and Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv tonight in their 50th meeting over almost 50 years, a historic occasion for two historic clubs who made it to the final by winning their semifinals on Friday. I'm with George Zedek and Johnny Rogers from EuroLeague TV who will be calling the games on Sunday as well. And they, of course, have insight into both of these teams. George, let's start with you and the, and the games on Friday. You saw Real Madrid blow out their arch rival, Barcelona, in a full, almost 40-point victory, something never seen before in the semifinals. And you saw Maccabi stage another comeback on this floor. Both teams are in a great moment right now. Well, you have to agree, Frank. I mean, on Friday, both of the results were just mind-blowing. I think Maccabi's comeback was incredible. They just kept believing, and Cesca was in control for 37 minutes, but at the end, last three minutes just didn't go their way. So a lot of credit to, uh, to Maccabi. They deserve to be in the final. In the other semifinal, it was also mind-blowing the way that uh, Real Madrid just kept plugging away, and uh, they, built a lead. they were down eight points in the first quarter, but just came back even the game, and it was a five-point game, ten-point game, up to 20, 30, 35, and they just kept playing with the same intensity. So I think that every single player on Real Madrid was involved in that victory, and they are ready to play a great final tonight. Johnny Rogers, there were two different types of wins in the semifinal. Of course, Madrid scoring 100 points and Maccabi having, having to come back. But their styles kind of mesh in terms of the action on the floor that these, both these teams put in the game going into the championship game tonight. I agree, Frank. Uh, we saw Maccabi really try to push the tempo against Jessica. They suffered in the beginning because they were just Jessica came out and was, was pounding the ball inside, and they had a lot of difficulty to play against Jessica's length. But uh, I think we're going to see an exciting game because both teams are playing up-tempo. I have one question if Maccabi's going to have enough left in the tank because that was a heck of a win. We saw them celebrate on the floor afterwards. Took a lot out of them emotionally. Let's see if they can if they have left more left. Their their team is not quite as deep as Real Madrid's. Real Madrid goes 10, 11 deep. Maccabi's not quite as deep, but I'm not putting anything past Maccabi. George, let's talk about the potential protagonist in this game. You have to start with Sergio Rodriguez, the MVP of the EuroLeague this season. He was named one day. He came to the semifinal and led his team with 21 points and six assists in the semifinal win over Barcelona. Well, I mean, he just had another. Another impressive showdown that, uh, that he showed on, on Friday. Uh, I think he came in a little bit earlier than he expected. Uh, he came in the sixth minute of the game, but then everything changed. I mean, the momentum, his leadership, the way he was distributing the ball, he was making sure that uh, every one of his teammates was at the right position. And I just feel that everybody comes down. And of course, on top of that, he made some unbelievable shots. This is the extra asset to his game. When he's open, he's dead on. I mean, he's been showing that the whole season, and that's why he's the MVP of Euroleague. John, sticking with Real Madrid, we saw Nikola Mirotic play one of his best games in a while, and everybody knows how talented he is and how he can be a game changer. So they've got a few of them on Real Madrid. Yeah, the Real Madrid's also got the, the big guys. They're going to have an advantage probably underneath the basket too in the beginning. But I liked, I liked watching Sofo. I mean, it's going to be entertaining to watch him go up against the, the big guys. Yanis Borussis and Sof Sofo know each other very well. Mirotic. I don't know who's going to guard Mirotic if he can play like he did the other day because he can go inside, outside. He's got a great ball handling skills. Uh, it's going to be fun to watch. You mentioned Sofoglis Rotonides, and of course, two years ago, these teams played in the semifinal in Barcelona, and it was Maccabi with Sofo in there taking Madrid out by a big score. So they have experience at this stage, and as you said, Sofoglis Rotonides could make a difference because he's one of a kind. That's right, the leading point score per minute in the EuroLeague this season. He's just an animal. What's incredible about Sofas, he's so large, you're not going to be able to defend him with only one person. So they're going to, they're going to have to double up on him. We talked about the guard for Real Madrid. Let's talk about Ricky Hickman and Tyrese Rice, who have come on at the end of the season and really taken the backcourt of Maccabi up a notch, finishing games. And as we said, two comebacks, two tremendous comebacks on the same floor in the last month. What can you say? I think that this is the Maccabi basketball. They, they said it uh, after the game in all the interviews. This is a team effort, uh, complete self-belief self in the team. Uh, they just never give up. I mean, this is all about the attitude of the whole team. It starts from the bench, from the coaches. It goes down to the last player. They just never stop believing. And I think uh, the way uh, that the guards are playing, they are just uh, 
st starting to put uh, unbelievable pressure on the ball, so it starts defensively, and then immediately after they they get the ball, they start they try to push. David Blatt has made it very clear. Maccabi is a lot better when they run the ball and they try to go for the, some easy points. If they go on a five-on-five five situation, if it's against Cesc on Friday or tonight, they're gonna have to go against Real Madrid, which is bigger uh, at every position. It's much more difficult for them. So I expect again to for Maccabi to play up tempo basketball. And we have to have a word for the shooters. We had David Blue. David Blue is the only player in this final who will have who has won the Euroleague before. He did it ten years ago. This year he came out of retirement, showed up at the semifinal, hit five three pointers, while Real Madrid had eight players share fifteen three pointers in their semifinal. The shooters on both teams could have the impact. Yes, we saw David Blatt interviewed at halftime where he's he was a he was saying they weren't making their shots, but Maccabi typically makes those shots. So if they get the defense spread out, that opens up holes where you have Hickman that goes to the basket so well, so does Rice. And it's very important to have a player like, like David Blue that can come out there and just, just knock him down from anywhere, and that's what he did. And if Madrid has eight more three-point shooters make shots on, in any game, that's almost impossible to win. Oh, if, if they're firing on all cylinders like they were last game, there's very little that Maccabi can do. You, Normally, when you play against Real Madrid, you want to slow it down, but that's not their style. Maccabi's style, David Blatt's style, is to pressure defense, push the tempo up, and get out and run. The Turkish Airlines Euroleague Championship game is coming tonight between Real Madrid and Maccabi Electric Tel Aviv. Watch it on Euroleague TV.